Good morning. Let me clean my Have a, a Tuesday, you guys. All the kids are gone. They have testing today. But I'm sitting here and I'm, um, I started praying a little bit, but I, you know, I feel so guilty because at four o'clock this morning when I set my alarm, I didn't even get up. I just said a prayer in my head and I didn't get up. And then when I got up today to take the kids and get them ready, I usually can go in there and go in a prayer and go ham, but I don't have the girls here or Teriana here that is usually in here with TJ watching TV with him while I'm, um, praying. And the Lord said that that's why you got to set that side, that time aside in the middle of the night so that you can have that time that's set apart and you don't have to worry about you know the kids and him being up and being up with him so now i'm just kind of reading my word and taking notes and kind of like being still and silent but i'm looking though i'm looking out my window and let's just get up and close and i just hear god saying harvest harvest this grass was cut let's go see this grass was cut last week. The guys are gonna come out every two weeks. But look at these bushels of growth in the yard. Like, literal bushel, bushels of like growth just sprouting all throughout the grass. The front yard is not sprouted as much as the backyard is. But I mean, how does it sprout like that so much? It's only been a week. It's only been a week. This coming Friday, they'll be out here to, to mow the yard again. But, I mean, look, you even got some little flowers coming in. You know? And I'm just like, even right here on the side, too. Just growth, growth, growth. Like, supernatural growth. It's not just, like, regular growth. You know what I mean? It's like the supernatural like how does it grow that much in a week it's just sprout sprouting just full just full so i hope if you're watching my videos that it's not y'all oh this chair what happened I hope, uh -uh, the devil is a lie. I hope, um, I mean, and I'm just watching the wind blow and the trees blow and give God glory because that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, blowing and giving God glory and like this is the time this is divine intervention. God is doing some really, really amazing things in our life, but you got to be able to perceive it and you have to be able to speak it out of your mouth and you have to really, really, really believe it in your heart and you have to really, really know that this past resurrection 4444 is divine intervention, growth, spiritual growth, wisdom, intuition, like discernment, all of that stuff, you know, and just obedience, the spirit of obedience. God wants us to obey. And I believe, you know, like this table talk, we might as well turn this into table talks real quick. But this one says hope. Um, You know, like there's a lot of YouTube channels and, and no shade, you know, these just been my thoughts. You know, you got like these channels that's like. You know, so many followers, you know, doing this, going out, you know, vlogging, live, turning up, all that, all that. God said that my people are going to crave righteousness. Like, people are going to start craving righteousness. People are going to start craving holiness because that stuff is only temporary. Like, what are you doing when you're, you're, you're in a battle? What are, what are you doing when you're up against a fight? What are you doing when all your money is gone? What are you doing when you've lost your loved one what do you do when you find yourself in a divorce what do you do when you find yourself when you've lost a child what do you do what do you do you gotta you turn to you turn to something that's everlasting yeah you dirty you got ice cream popsicle all over you 
put it in the trash. <laughs> Popsicle face. I'm gonna get you dressed right now. You need a bath. Let's not just change clothes, but let's take a bath this morning. You're okay. You don't take a bath anyway. Okay? So, you know, we we look to we look to the Father. We look to something that's everlasting. We look to the rock. We look to, you know, stability. We're looking to something that's everlasting that's gonna hold us past you know the material things we were looking for something you know solid we're looking for oh father god please forgive me for not going in this morning at three o'clock i went in today but it wasn't like i needed to be i went in for probably like 30 minutes 30 minutes but i'm, I'm here with tj so i just feel so bad and I just feel a heart of repentance because I should have took that time at four o'clock in the morning, but I didn't get to bed till like one something. Just kind of like laying there and meditating. So I was really, really sleepy, but still, no, you got to make that time and make that sacrifice if you really expect it, you know? And plus I'm trading on the enemy's territory because we snatching souls. I know he, you, he, he, I know he feels something because there's a shift in the atmosphere and we are trading on soul trading and, and snatching souls and numbers 10 and 9 says and if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresses you then you shall blow an alarm with the trumpets and you shall be remembered before the lord god before the lord your god and you shall be saved from your enemies let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Bye, Satan. We ain't worried about nothing that you got going on. Not a thing, okay? Not one single thing. But I'm just going to continue to look at my little harvest and just know that that's just a symbolization of what's going on in the spirit for us. So just be excited step into this word get this word eat this bread eat that roll baby get it in your spirit get it in your soul and let it just be warm as this coffee god is doing a new thing he is doing some amazing things in our life and just know that you're joseph Joseph, the brothers threw him and, and sold him. But you know what the what the devil meant for evil, God means it for good. So and then after all of those years, he said, Okay, okay, yeah, y'all did that. You thought you did that, but really actually it was God who did that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you you went through this divorce and you thought you was about to die, but really that was God who did that. You know what I mean? Like you really you lost your child. You know, and you thought, you know, this or you could have did this and you could have did that. But really, that was God who did that because of what he's about to do in that. And he saved everybody. He saved all of y'all. God bless that man for y'all evil curses, what y'all was trying to do for evil. The enemy don't even know. You know what I mean? So come on, Joseph. Arise. 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 He's setting us up. Y'all don't get it twisted. I am super excited, but you know, uh, my face and stuff in the video is I'm, I'm disappointed in myself and my heart. My heart posture is a posture of repentance. That's why you kind of feel like the vibe because I'm, I'm upset that I didn't get up at four o'clock in the morning. My eyes was uh, burning, baby. Burning. And I was like, oh, but now i know why you know i know why because I, I don't have that time and i feel like going in i want to go in tj just going i'm about to take him a bath and stuff and just go in go ham you know and i know i'm gonna be distracted throughout the time but i'm not gonna let it defeat me but i do have a heart of repentance and a heart that's sorrowful and a heart that's just like lord please forgive me and just continue to give me the strength to go on and give me the strength to get my butt up at four o'clock in the morning and get up and pray go to bed early with these kids at night and get your tail up in the middle of the night and go go to war go to war my love so that way when you wake up say your prayers for the day and going about your day going about your day going about your day but that way it's done and that time is set apart and that time is set aside 
So the vibe that you feel, because I was looking back at the video like, mm, and she ain't acting like she got a harvest. No, I know I got a harvest. Don't, 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 don't baby, believe. Ain't no mistaking about that. <laughs> the harvest is here and plentiful, okay? The laborers are few. That's another reason why we got to go in and snatch them up. We need people to gather the harvest. It ain't that many, but the Lord is doing it. So just know I'm super, super excited, but my heart posture this morning is like, <sighs> whooping myself you know what I mean it's just like Lord please forgive me you know what I mean and we're always gonna be in and, and, and let me just say this real quick until you leave here God is always gonna be growing you and transforming you so don't hop in this thing like okay I'm about to be perfect I'm not supposed to do this no more I'm not supposed to do no God is gonna be continuously shaping you continuously molding you he's gonna continuously take things away from you but you gotta be your heart has to be obedient and ready to do those things and know that you know a lot of the things that you do is gonna have to be it's gonna have to be a sacrifice it's gonna have to be well the bible does say obedience is better than sacrifice but i'm saying to your flesh you know and god is gonna give you the strength to to handle it see y'all see and i just feel like lord please forgive me god and i know he do but i just feel sorry um sorry to God and I feel I do I do I feel sorry to God and I feel repentful like mm. Lord and I know and y'all know when y'all repent he casts everything out into the sea of forgetfulness that's why you have to repent every day and have a heart of repentance every day as God continues to work on you and transform you but now I'm listening to PBS kids when I could have already you know that's all it is but you know it's, it's not a perfect walk but it's a progressing walk um, like, like Pastor Mike Todd said, um, y'all need to go watch that, that stained that he did on Easter. Him and, um, uh, Sarah Jake's husband, uh, Roberts, Tere Roberts, who baby, they both, both of those sermons on Sunday was flame, absolute flame. But, um, yeah, not a per perfect walk, but a progress. And that's, I was saying that a few videos back, like progress, progress, process, process. He's working it progressing 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 so start putting that stuff out there what you don't want to do and allow god to you know continue to do the work and let me get my baby and get him a bath and stuff and you know still be upset about it not getting up at four o'clock in the morning but baby just know god is doing it in the spirit you know what i mean like we baby trust me if you ain't there yet, just keep watching videos, keep praying, keep watching positivity, keep speaking affirmations into your life. You are the head and not the tail. You are above only and not beneath. You are a lender to many nations and you will never borrow. In Jesus' holy mighty name, you are powerful. You are a demon slayer. You are energetic. You are beautiful. You are talented. You have multiple streams of income coming in from the north, the east, the south, and the west. Baby, speak that stuff to you into your life every single day. Every single day. I am healthy. I am at my goal weight. <laughs> yes, you got to get serious about this thing. Serious. And I know some people probably be like, she overdo it. And she, I don't care if I overdid it in the natural. Just imagine how it's about to be, how I am in the spirit. Overdoing it. Oh, well, God is good. <laughs> this word is true. He's going to do it for you. You got to believe it and change your heart posture, change your attitude, change your... If they was going in the wilderness for 40 years, all because of complaining, and all they had to do was change their attitude, the, the promised land was right there. <laughs> Don't miss the promise because you have scales on your eyes like that's the enemy. Got you walking around in a circle. I'm telling you because that's what he had me doing for all of these years. In and out, in and out, in and out. Or I come out for a little season, then I go back in. Then I come out, poke my head out for a little season. Hey, what y'all got going on? Then I go back into depression. Baby, what, 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 what? That cycle is over with. Baby, I'm tired. But I told you, you got to get to the point of being tired. So if you're not there yet, that's the, the Lord getting beating you down until you're going to get good and tired. Then when you're getting tired, it's going to be ready for war. So give yourself some grace. And, um, ooh, look at these wind, this wind blowing, giving God glory. And, and if you don't want to give him glory, <laughs> guess what, baby? He's going to make that rock cry out and i don't want no rock crying out my in my spot i will give god glory all the glory honor and praise i don't need a rock to cry out my spot baby because uh somebody gonna give him glory 
Let it be you. Oh, 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 oh,